to laugh? Yes. Are you ready to laugh? Yes. Well, the young man I'm going to bring before you is a good person, a friend of mine. We work in radio. We've also done some networking together. He's one of the funniest comedians in the United States and in the world. And he is from Chicago to Chicago. And he is the host of Educated Insanity on No One Radio from 3 to 5 every day. And also, you can get the No One Radio app on your phone and listen to him every day. He's also the host of uh, Laughing Insanity at the Laugh Factory each and every month. And I believe he'll be celebrating his one year anniversary the first Sunday of this month. So you can go check him out the first Sunday of April. That will be the one. It's the second. The second Sunday of April. Well, correct me, bro. The second Sunday of April, he'll be celebrating one year of Laughing Insanity at the Laugh Factory on the North Side. The great brother, man of God, I'm sure he's going to have you in stitches. Stand on your feet, put your hands together to receive Jay Washington from Chicago, amen? I'm off on the list. Yeah, give it up for Sean. Thank you for putting me on the spot. Well, thank you, Sean, for making me feel like I've done none of what you said. He's like, this is the greatest comedian in the country, but he still lives at home. <laughs> He's still trying to make sure his rent is paid. If I was that great, I'd have been in here smiling. I am sitting there hoping y'all buy merchandise after this. Because I got bills and diapers need to be bought. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is nice. Thank you. I, I didn't realize these lights was going to be so bright. That's okay. Uh, I feel like a suspect, but that's cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm good, man. I mean, I, I think it's, it's nice to be here talking about relationships. Anybody in here in a brand new relationship? Like you hoping to make it to your first year? <laughs> hoping they don't mess up about Memorial Day? <laughs> you threatening to lie. I swear to God, I won't make no potato salad this year. Keep playing. I'm, I'm in a brand new relationship myself that I doubt is going to last. <laughs> I have literally no faith in it. I'm, I know, I'm going to tell you why. Though, a lot of people are like, why you don't believe in it? Because you just gave me that look. Like, why you don't believe? I'll tell you why I don't believe. <laughs> the reason is, she gets mad at me too quick at things that happen at her house that she feels I'm responsible for. Things that she feels I'm obliged to always take care of. And it's not like I leave the cap off toothpaste and tip it hard. Nah, nothing like that. It's not like I drink the last little bit of orange juice she got in the refrigerator. Nah, nothing like that. Or it's not like at 2.47 in the morning, she falls in the toilet because she don't want to turn around and look or flip on a light switch. No, nothing simple like that. Any married man in here been through that? You been through that, bro? Yeah. Any married man in here, like, uh, get woken up in the middle of the morning, why you in there? You know, why you in there on the toilet seat? <laughs> but no, let me see what happened. She got mad at me recently because she had a mouse in her house and I wouldn't go get it. Listen, I don't think the rest of them understand, but I'll tell you why. Listen, I don't think y'all understood. She had a mouse in her house, okay? It ain't my house. It ain't our house. It ain't the house. It is a mouse in her house and got mad at me because of my response. Because most men tell their women, baby, I'll catch it and kill it for you. Or they go, baby, I'll call the exterminator. I did neither one of those. I told her, I think we should see other people. <laughs> Here's the thing, it's her house, therefore it's her mouse, and the process of elimination, it is her problem. Because she don't have a problem reminding me it's her house. She don't. She's one of those women that like to go, well, you don't run nothing around here. You don't pay none of these bills around here. I miss I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. -E -E Do you know what that means? Yes, that means you catch Mickey all by your own self, because I don't like mice. I hate mice. Because here's the thing, what's to say me and her sitting up on the couch trying to have a little quality time, right? We got our feet kicked up, shoes and socks off. Mickey decides he wants to come make an appearance, come run across both our ankles. Now we jump up on the couch hugging each other tighter than a press circle in a Tyler Perry movie. Y'all already know Sucker Family reunion going on the Tyler Perry movie. I don't, I don't need that pressure in my life of her doing like most females do to us guys and some of you ladies know you do it and that's calling your girlfriends while I'm standing right there looking dead in my face. I don't need that pressure in my life. You calling your girlfriends talking something. Girl, let me tell you about this big Negro here. Girl, not only did his big self not want to catch this mouse. Yeah, girl. Guess what? It ran past us. He jumped on the couch and he screamed hiding a chick than me. 
Girl, he went like, ah! I don't need that pressure in my life, so I think we should see other people. Exactly, okay, so I'm not alone, so don't judge me with this story. This is the, I don't like gross. I don't like mice, hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs. I'll be real with y'all. If we're in the holiday season, out and chill us, try to walk up on me being all nice and sing Christmas carols, I would feel we'll kick all of them down Michigan Avenue. This is what I'm gonna I don't like, I don't like, more importantly, I don't like squirrels. I hate squirrels. Oh, some of y'all are squirrel lovers. <laughs> Y'all got quiet. I was like, you would not speak bad about Rock and J Squirrel, nor Secret Squirrel, or Slappy Squirrel, or any other animated squirrel. I don't like squirrels, and I'll tell you why. I think squirrels are nothing but pumped up on steroids, done prison time rats, that try to take advantage of you and torch check you. Like, I think squirrels are nothing but like little gang members, and I met the chief chief of these little things about two weeks ago. I think he had little furry dreadlocks, everything. Because this is what happened. This is a true story. I can't make this up. I was going to my buddy's house because I wanted to get away from all the madness from a girl, right? So I went to my buddy's house. I get to, get to his house. I pull him in the car. I walk up to his porch. I see a squirrel on the porch. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, I'm 18,000 times making this little furry wooden creature. I can just go and shoot him on off. So I'm stuck and trying to be tough, trying to get him to run. Because you got stuck when you're throwing up the shoulder. Because if you don't, it just look like you're doing dance moves from a thriller video. And the squirrel goes, what's going on? So, I think I'm being tough trying to pump this squirrel out. Do y'all know this squirrel jumped up on his two back high legs, had his ear broke off, went hoo hoo hoo! He gonna bring those squirrels, two raccoons, and wrap the bottles on his finger like this is the Warriors. I'm like, what's going on right here? Is this an episode of Gangland somebody didn't tell me about? So I'm like, you know what? I'm a grown man. These little woodland creatures ain't gonna pump me out. I'm jumping and shooting at all. Out the trees, it come two pigeons with their feathers broke off, holding wings like they in a couple's retreat, trying to have a dive by dump on me. I'm running duck into the car, sliding back and forth, get to the car, call my boy up, was like, hey dog, I've been COVID the other day. He was like, Jay, what's wrong? I'm like, you got a wildlife problem you need to take care of. And I was like, man, I'm not doing it every day. Take it easy, y'all. Call me girl for me later. Cool. Drove on off. Don't you judge me. But you can't tell things because like things change so much for kids. Things change so much for kids. Like I don't know if y'all heard this, but now Crayola has multiracial marbles. You've heard, you heard about this, okay? So people know I'm not making this up. This is real. This is to teach kids a lesson in diversity. So they can color in the exact skin tone and complexion of a person on the coloring sheet. I think that's garbage. Tell you why. When I was in school, if I wanted to color a black person, I had to use black or brown. If I ever wanted to color a white person, all of them were peach. <laughs> they were peach, so I left the page blank. One and two. One and two. And if I wanted to color a Hispanic person, for some reason, they were orange. Don't ask. Because the closest thing I ever got to an exact skin complexion was if I used burnt sienna. And that was only if I was lucky enough to have that 64 pack of crayons that made you feel like a superstar on your first day of school. Okay? Because y'all remember, you had the crayons, it was like a big thing to show a tail going into the front door. You pointed all your friends, well, what you got? These jeans and gym shoes. Well, what you got? A five star trapper keeper. It had to be five stars. It was four stars, it was blue legs for a dollar store, nobody really cared. Star Trapper Keeper. What you got? A Rubik's Cube with two sides completed. They be like, well, what about you, Jay? What you got? This 64 pack of crayons. <laughs> with the crayon sharpened the whole way back. <laughs> Everybody in the class be in shock and amazed, so they be like, damn! Do we sharpen the pencils too? No, I don't do all that, but they get your crayons pointed them hard, though. Hey, y'all, listen, before I get done, I got uh, a couple of things that I am selling, of course. These bands and these t-shirts that say, laughter is medicine, because I believe laughter is medicine for the soul and food for the heart. And with everything we go going through as a country and as a world, we can all afford to have a reminder to laugh. There's a plane that went missing. I don't care what nobody says. Missing. This ain't the Chris Angel mind freak. They can't feel they come back. 
Google don't know where it is. You can't find it on Siri. And evidently, ain't nobody on child support on that plane. Because they found it in two hours. They found it in two hours. So we all can afford, with that going on, we all can afford to have a reminder to laugh. If you go in and you get the t-shirt, you get a DVD of mine for free as well. But please make sure you do the support, because if you support your support, goes to the greatest support in the world. My child support. Listen, I've been Jay Watson. Thank y'all for the time. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. with Jay Washington and Chicago Land Christian Center because this summer we're going to be starting a series under the guidance of Prophets, something she wanted to bring to the ministry. We're going to start the Laughter of His Medicine series. And Jay is going to be the host. We're going to have it here. He's going to bring in... What I'm going to do is we're going to bring in some of the best comedians that I know from in and around the Chicago Land area. Comics who've been on BET, Comedy Central, HBO, uh, Aspire, TV One, Bounce, all of them. I'll be bringing them all here. So we want to make this all a successful event, and we just need you all to support, put the word out. It's going to be great. I promise you that. And uh, April 13th, which is the second Sunday, Sean's Jerry Girl got in the way. Told you you wouldn't off limits. Listen, <laughs> April 13th at the Laugh Factory is the one year anniversary of the show. Myself and my co-host J.R. Bank put together called Laughing Insanity. Uh, normally I host it, but I will be the headliner that evening. I'm doing 35 minutes straight, so I invite you all to come on out. It's 18 and over, but it's a great time. If you go to laughfactory.com, use the code HAHA, H-A-H-A, tickets are $12. You cannot beat that as a bad man, $20 and done. So that's all I got. I'll be in the back later after you guys get done with the t-shirts, DVDs, bands. Please go ahead and see me. Thank you guys. It was a great time. Give it up for Sean and the sweat in his hair. All right. Jay <laughs> Washington. All right. Did you guys enjoy that? Yeah. Got you loose. <laughs>